Next up in our program is Altsecure, and here to present the company is CEO Martin Jonsson. Welcome, Martin. Thank you, Mike. Hello, my name is Martin Jonsson. I'm the CEO of Altsecure Pharma. Uh, I'm here to present the company, what we are focusing on, and also how we are developing uh, as a company, and the rights issue that we have ongoing now. As a company, uh, Altsecure is uh, focusing on the areas Alzheimer's disease and pain, areas of great unmet medical need. Uh, we were founded as a commercial company in 2016 and can be seen as a spin-off from AstraZeneca since the company started in 2012 as uh, AstraZeneca stopped their research in Alzheimer's and pain. Uh, we are a very experienced team from early drug discovery development into commercialization. And we are located here in Sweden at Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. Uh, the research we are doing, we are doing on three different platforms and only doing small molecule projects. We have Neural Restore, where we are developing novel first-in-class symptomatic treatments against cognitive diseases, focusing on Alzheimer's disease. Then we have Alstatin, where we are developing a preventive disease-modifying treatment, so we don't develop Alzheimer's. And then we have the platform Painless, where we have two projects in pain. And as a company, we are on NASDAQ, first North Premier Growth Market, since 2018. As a company, our business model is that we are a research and development company, taking our projects into clinical phase up to phase 2A and then to outlicense. But we are also open to outlicense already in preclinical. If you look at our pipeline, we have a pipeline of six different projects which are organized in the three different platforms. Neuro Restore, uh, focusing on cognitive disorders with uh, Alzheimer's as the focus area. And here we have a one A study, a phase one study going on. In Alstatin, preventive uh, treatment against Alzheimer's. We are in preclinical phase. And then in Painless, our pain platform, we have one project which had a positive readout last year, where we now are heading, uh, preparing for phase uh, two, where we just have had positive feedback from the FDA. And then we, in Painless, we have a project called Track A NAM as well. If you look at what we are mainly focusing on, we are focusing on Alzheimer's disease, a devastating disease costing society more than oncology and cardiovascular diseases together. And this is in a, an area where the patient population already now is huge and expected to triple in the coming 30 years. So, so why is that? This is because we are living longer and longer and uh, with this the, uh, the risk of developed dementia and Alzheimer grows bigger and bigger. If we look at Alzheimer's disease, we can see the disease as progressive and a lethal disorder. Uh, two phases, pre-symptomatic and symptomatic Alzheimer is what the patients are experiencing. In the pre-symptomatic phase, uh, the disease is building up, uh, amyloid plaque proteins are uh, being created in the brain and destroying brain structures. And here today, there are no uh, treatments against preventing uh, Alzheimer's. And then in symptomatic Alzheimer, where we have symptoms, today there are some uh, medications, but these medications aren't very effective and have side effects. And so we can truly say in both these areas, pre-symptomatic and symptomatic Alzheimer's, there are huge unmet medical needs. And when it comes to the market potential, it's enormous. If only 5% of the US uh, population would get uh, the drug Adohelm, which was approved last year, uh, the drug would be the second biggest uh, drug in the US market. And if we look at how we as a company are working in, in the Alzheimer's field, we are having two platforms. Uh, our first platform is Alstatin, which is a preventive disease-modifying treatment focusing on the, amyloid, the production of amyloid beta, which is uh, damaging the brain. And here we are developing an oral medication. And then for the patients who have developed Alzheimer's and cognitive disorders, we have Neurestore, which is a medication to improve 
uh, brain function with learning capabilities and memory capabilities. Also here, developing oral medications. If we go in and look at Alstatin, our preventive disease modifying treatment against Alzheimer's disease, uh, we can talk about what's happening in the brain as Alzheimer's is evolving. And this is focusing on A-beta-42 uh, protein, which is destroying the brain and leading into what's called the amyloid cascade, uh, over time creating plaque, breaking down the brain. And if we look at what's happening, how the, the plaques are uh, created, this is due to that in the brain there is produced A-beta-42, uh, with A beta 42, there are created bigger and bigger fragments up to plaque. What we are focusing on is the source to minimize the production of A beta 42. Antibodies, uh, which now are coming in, are focusing further up in the cascade. We want to make sure that we don't develop Alzheimer's. And we should see a movie about how Alstatin is working. In the cell membrane, there are many different proteins, one of which is APP. This protein is cleaved by specific enzymes into smaller peptides. In Alzheimer's disease, APP is initially generally cleaved by an enzyme called beta secretase. The second cleavage is made by an enzyme called gamma secretase, resulting in the release of a smaller fragment called beta amyloid. This protein has a tendency to clump together into larger aggregates, oligomers, which damage and interfere with the normal functioning of the nerve cells. Over time, large insoluble protein aggregates are formed in the brain, so-called amyloid plaques, which is a key hallmark of the disease. Alsecure's project, Alstatin, prevents the formation of beta amyloid and reduces the buildup of amyloid plaques in the brain. Alstatin does this by modulating the gamma secretase so that the enzyme cleaves beta amyloid into shorter fragments that are not toxic to the cells, nor aggregate to form plaques. So this was about how Alstatin is working. So here we saw that Alstatin is focusing on A-beta-42, the toxic proteins, which are uh, clustering together and uh, creating toxic fragments. What we are having and have developed is uh, Alstatin and gamma secretase modulators diminishing and minimizing the production of A-beta-42 with up to 50 to 60 percent. And if we should look at how uh, how Alstatin is, uh, differs compared to antibodies, which are now coming into the market, Antibodies are with the indication mild Alzheimer's disease, where the brain is already destroyed, as you see on the right. We, with Alstatin, is going in treating uh, the healthy brain to make sure that the brain is not uh, damaged, so you develop Alzheimer's. And looking at other uh, advantages with Alstatin compared to antibodies is that we are a small molecule therapy with a, uh, penetrating the blood brain barrier to a greater extent. We also have uh, oral formulation instead of infusion or subcutaneous uh, treatment. We also are having a preventive treatment so we don't develop the, the, uh, the disease and also having fewer and less severe side effects. So this is the intention with Alstatin. Our second uh, platform uh, focusing on uh, uh, Alzheimer's New Restore, a cognitive enhancer improving brain function. And how we are doing this is that we are focusing on the neurotrophins BDNF and NDF. And uh, increasing, uh, enhancing uh, the neurotrophin signaling. And BDNF and NGF are central to uh, cognition and memory and enhancement. And we have shown in preclinical models that we can improve this. When it comes to th uh, this medication uh, that we are developing, we don't see that it only can be used in Alzheimer's disease. Several other uh, diseases like uh, uh, Parkinson's disease and traumatic brain injury, sleep disorders, we also see the opportunity. 
And how this new restore is really working, we have seen that it goes in and can improve the learning capabilities, the storage capabilities, so what we have learned is really stored, and also that we improve memory, so we can uh, take it and re, uh, remember what we have learned. So a fascinating drug. Our second focus area is uh, chronic pain, an area of large unmet medical need. Uh, more people are committing suicide due to chronic pain than depression. Uh, chronic pain is also the most common cause to sick leaves. And in the US, there is an opioid crisis due to the fact that uh, people are using these narcotic uh, uh, substances. So here we're seeing a huge unmet medical need. And the way we are attacking uh, uh, the pain area is with two different platforms. We have one platform, Track A NAM, where we are focusing on osteoarthritis and other severe pain conditions. And then we also have our project ACD440 heading into phase two, which we, where we are focusing on neuropathic pain. More than 600 million pa patients or people are suffering from neuropathic pain. 80% of these patients aren't expect, uh, experiencing adequate pain relief. And this project is uh, built on the science which was rewarded the Nobel Prize last year which went to the researcher, uh, David Julius, for his discovery and knowledge he developed around this receptor, TRPV1. And what we have developed is a TRPV1 antagonist. And here we have a compound where we have a confirmed mo mode of action, several clinical studies, strong scientific support, now also with <laughs> Nobel Prize. Last year we had a positive 1B study with data on safety, tolerability and efficacy. And now we also have had uh, feedback from the FDA with regard to the phase 2 study that we intend to start this year. And then if we head on, uh, neuropathic pain is such a, a big market. It's actually the biggest individual market within pain, uh, sales for over 11 billion. But due to the very large unmet medical need and the dissatisfaction with the existing treatment, uh, we are expecting, or the marketing is expecting, double-digit growth going up to around 25 billion in 2077. If we look at our milestones and the planned activities for 2022, we intend to start our phase two study for painless ACD440 for neuropathic pain. And also to have a readout on the ongoing phase one study with NeuroRestore ACD856 focusing on Alzheimer's disease. And then also to start our next trial within ACD856. And then we want to advance our uh, molecules in painless track a nam towards clinical candidates. And then progress our statin ACD680 into uh, preclinical safety testing. And why is then Alsecure an interesting company to invest in? We would say it's because that we are targeting areas of huge unmet medical need. We are doing this with a strong a team with the extensive experience and track record. Uh, we also have platforms with first-in-class properties, which really can become game changers. We also are doing parallel investment with potent follow-up programs. And our target areas are really uh, blockbusters area with very, very large opportunities. And also now, especially that we are evolving into a phase two company. Uh, now we are actually having a rights issue with a subscription period for uh, March 8 to 22nd. And we are aiming to take in uh, around 60 million and already now it's guaranteed to 80%. And we also have an Altamir option uh, potentially taking up additional uh, 12 million. So I would recommend you to go into our homepage and learn more uh, about uh, the rights issue and what it can uh, offer. Thank you.
Thank you so much for your presentation, Martin. Thank you. Um, you mentioned the approval of Adukanumab, um, which came quite recently. I was wondering, what are the uh, prospects for Al com uh, the commercialization of Alsecure's products within Alzheimer's disease, given this approval? Oh, uh, uh, they have improved. I mean, uh, with the approval, uh, the FDA have now defined the regulatory route. Uh, with this approval, uh, more companies are now doing their trials on their antibodies, which I feel personally even have better data than Adohelm, where you have uh, uh, more to wish for, if you say like this. And we see an increased interest in our Alzheimer's uh, project, so uh, we think it's very, very positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you, uh, you talked about your painless mm -hmm. platform and uh, your uh, ACD440 project. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you're going to be starting phase two yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. um, what is your business strategy there with that platform? Um, our, uh, we want to out-license uh, the project and uh, we are all the time working with uh, discussion with uh, external companies uh, with regard to outlicensing and that on ACD440 but also on Alstatin, on New Restore. So to find a, a partner who are I interested in taking it on, uh, both the program we have now but we also see other opportunities around the molecules with other formulation etc. So we really think um, ACD440 for neuropathic pain can be something very, very special and interesting. Mm -hmm. And along those lines, mm -hmm. uh, you have a quite diversified portfolio. Yep. Why is that important for Altsecure? Uh, first of all, it, it can look like it's uh, diversified, and of course we have Alzheimer and pain, but the, the reason why it looks like it looks is that in certain cases we are increasing the neurotrophic signaling, like in Alzheimer, to improve cognition and memory, and in other times we are uh, minimizing the signaling, and then we come in, into the pain area. Mm -hmm. But for us as a company, we want to really do things which uh, there is a great unmet medical need, but for investors, I also think that our pipeline we are having is also showing that we are no one-trick pony and that the areas we are in are really, really huge and can really become some, something very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for answering these questions and we wish you all the best with your upcoming work. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.